did is pick out a strange ape that walks upright like a human being um, that is very curious about the pygmies and will follow them through the forest sometimes, uh, right up to a gigantic spider called the Shubafufi, which means giant spider, that's about at least three or four feet across, looking much like a tarantula. So if we can come back with just one of those, it will, it, it will advance our cause tremendously. You mentioned a, uh, a, a spider in the Congo Basin, which was it three feet across? There was at least three or four feet across. I know that uh, one Western couple saw it, um, um, R.K. Lloyd and his uh, Reginald Kenneth Lloyd and his wife Marguerite who were motoring through the Congo and kind of like an adventure hunting through in 1938. And one of these giant spiders crawled right across the, the jungle track in front of them and scared the, the living daylights out of them. And I know their daughter, uh, Margaret, who lives in England, and she provided me with a wonderful photograph of her parents and a detailed account of the giant spider that they saw. And amazingly, this giant spider is also known in Cameroon to the pygmies there, and they've given us more information on it. Three to four feet across, I killed a spider in the bathroom this morning, maybe the size of my thumbnail, and I'm still trying to recover from that. So, three, well, I don't like, I don't like <laughs> spiders either, I'll be honest with you. But here's the, here's the thing. Um, money talks even in the jungle and if, if we can get enough funding together we're looking to raise seventy thousand dollars partially for new equipment and partially because um, if we can encourage um, the pygmies to go out and kill one of these giant spiders and bring it to us or take us to a location where we can see and film any one of the other mystery animals we will reward them handsomely financially um, and um, you know that would go along with helping them build their plantations and improve their living conditions and so on. So, I'll throw seventy thousand into the pot. Have them kill them all. <laughs> uh, well, I would I'd never kill them or kill them, maybe, but certainly. Um, no, no, the spiders. The spiders, Bill. I'm talking about those spiders. Well, you know, the, the place is full of spiders. Bigger than your hand is the most common ones you see, and so we make sure that our tents are zipped up tight at night. I can tell. Well, I haven't seen any, any tarantulas four feet across, but I can tell you that the, the tribes people, and, and here, here's where I could really, you know, bang my head off the wall. When I first went to Cameroon in November 2000 with David Wetzel from Concord, New Hampshire, I, I forgot to ask them about these giant forest spiders. When I went back in 2001 with a Discovery Channel film crew, I then asked the chief of the pygmies of that area, his name is Timbo, um, about the giant spiders, and he looked at me and said, well, sir, if, through a translator, if you had asked me that question when you were here last year, I could have taken you to a place where one of these giant spiders was very near a village in the forest, because what they, they tend to do is they, they make a trap or some kind of dwelling similar in shape to a, a pygmy hut made out of leaves and everything. Um, and they, their eggs are peanut-sized, white eggs, and they are very, very dangerous. They, they ambush and kill small forest game, um, but they're very dangerous to humans. Now, they'll give you a nasty bite, but they can't kill you. And the pygmies tell us, usually when they encounter these giant spiders, they'll kill them on sight because they, they just don't like them. So this is why we're determined to get back better funded next year so we can offer them a financial reward, okay, uh, to kill one of these things and present it to us. And if they can do that, and you email me at my address here, www.shaw.ca, I will make sure that you're one of the first people to see the evidence. One of history's most terrifying giant spider sightings took place in the jungles of the Congo in Central Africa. It happened to a British explorer, R.K.
Lloyd reached for his camera, the giant spider scurried back into the forest and disappeared. Back in the old days of colonial Africa, explorers became hunters. From time to time, they encounter strange animals, including giant spiders, but they often don't report these observations for fear of just being ridiculed. After all, who's going to believe a story about a spider that with a leg span of four or five feet? That's almost as big as a human being. Sizes, descriptions, and species vary in different parts of the world. But on the extreme end of the spectrum, eyewitnesses describe specimens up to five feet across, with huge fangs and hairy bodies the size of small dogs.